All right, guys, I have an amazing workout today. I'm actually gonna be doing one of my favorite workouts to build my legs and build explosive power for sprinting and jumping. So it's gonna be badass. Now, today's a very special day because every three months, I link up with my private clients in my inner circle. These are guys that flew from all over. They're running very successful businesses and they've transformed their physique and their life. So it's really awesome. And last night, actually, I took everyone out. We did an awesome Brazilian steakhouse. I personally ate like two pounds plus of beef, so I feel charged up. We're about to crush this workout today. Now, first things first, I really like doing weighted pistols. I find that when I do weighted pistols, I can jump higher, I feel more powerful. So today, I'm doing some weighted pistols. Just give me eight reps. I like to do ball of the foot, right here. I'm starting off with a nice little warm up, some body weight reps, and I'm actually building up to you know 15 pounds, 25, and actually going up to 45 pounds, which is 90 pounds total per leg. Okay, we're seeing if we can do 90 pounds. That's, that's more than half my body weight. Ugh. That's crazy, that's more than half my body weight. My weight today is nuts. I'm only 173 today, which is really low. So I'm getting very, very lean. I'm gonna do a DEXA scan, some blood work soon. I'll share a photo I took the other day right here. But as you can see, when you get leaner, that's when you look crazy. Everyone thinks like, holy shit, what have you been doing? You look crazy. It's simply leaning down from 180, 182, down to 175, 174. That's when I look my best. Now, the 45 pounds was tough. I was a little iffy on the left leg, but the right, I got two smooth reps. I would love to get to like 50s for two or three. So we'll be working on that. Now next, I love the explosive training. I've always had a passion for fitness, not just looking good, but feeling powerful. I don't care about deadlifting 600 pounds. I love the idea of being able to jump high, sprint fast, being explosive, feeling good, being limber, being injury free. So I'm doing box jumps. A lot of people make the mistake with plyometrics to do sets of 15, sets of 20 reps. You really wanna focus on being powerful. If I do 20 jumps, I'm not gonna be able to jump very high. So I'm just doing three, focusing on exploding as high as possible. I like to do a 30 inch box and land my legs as straight as possible. So I'm actually doing four sets of three. I'm doing two sets, normal jumps, and I'm doing two sets on a box. By sitting on a box, you can't use a stretch shortening reflex. It's pure explosive power. There's no down and up. It's called build explosive power. And that box really requires you to explode without using the stretch sorting cycle. So if you come down and up, you can get more power than simply starting from a static position. So I like to do both. Now we're gonna build the hamstrings and glutes with the Nordic curls. This is a super tough exercise. It's also amazing at improving sprinting power and top speed. So we're gonna warm up with just six reps with assistance. Now normally when I do these, this is on like my calf here. Because it's close to the ankle, it's gonna be a lot harder. But the good news is I've lost like six pounds, so I'm lighter, so it's gonna be easier. So I managed to do my first set, eight reps. It is brutal. The top fastest guy in the NFL does like eight to 10 reps. And this was really deep, so this was tough. Now my second set, I just do two sets on this. I'm actually gonna do it with a two second pause for two reps, which is really tough. Very few people can do that. One, two. One, two. And then I'm gonna do an extra six reps assisted to really burn out the hamstrings. Three. It's good. And now we're doing a little extra on the quads. So you can do the sissy squat, or you can do sort of the ATG step up, really pushing off 
the ball of your foot, and it really helps develop the VMO, strengthen the knee. I've been chatting a lot with uh, Ben Patrick. We kind of pick each other's brain. I teach him some upper body stuff. I, I, I love his leg training, he's got it really dialed. So I find like the weighted pistols are good for building explosive strength and power. And then this is good for really strengthening the knees, developing the proportion down near the knee. So we're just doing a couple sets today. We did body weight for 20. I'm gonna grab some dumbbells and do 10 to 15. The legs are pretty damn cooked. I'm gonna finish off a little extra knees over toes stuff. I'll rotate between doing an ATG step up, a sissy squat, and today, based on how my knees are feeling, I'm doing the ATG split squat, which is really good at developing the VMO, developing the quads, and I'm just going body weight today. I've had a little bit of pain in my knee, so I'm just keeping it nice and easy. Two sets of 12, you really feel an awesome pump in the legs. Nice. Yeah, even hold that deep stretch. Hold it right here. Nice, sink into, sink your butt down. Let your butt sink down and then push back. Nice, that's tough, eh? And finally, this is an awesome leg workout. I like to finish my legs off with some traps. I like to do a little trap love. So some days I'll do two heavy dumbbells, walking shrugs, I call them farmer shrugs. Today I'm doing just Two sets of 15 to 20 on the cable. Great for the traps. So we're doing this one right here. For the walkout. And. Let's do two sets. All right, we're hitting the, get a nice stretch. Okay, nice, two. Give me 12. Get a nice stretch. Let it pull your shoulders down at the bottom. Nice, lean forward, let it come all the way down. Pull, nice, solid. Shoulders come too far forward, keep them centered. Yeah, there, three, perfect. Four, yeah, squeeze, five, a little bit faster, six, nice. One more, hold the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Get the stretch, get the stretch, let it pull for a few seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Nice, shake it up. Finish the workout. We did the weighted pistols, we did some explosive jumps, crushed the Nordic curls, the little ATG split squats and some traps. I'll do this workout once a week. Some phases I'm doing two workouts a week, some phases I'm doing three. I've done two workouts a week for over a year. Now I'm going to back to three for fun, just to kind of get in the gym a little bit more, which I really like. But it's crazy because like most people in the gym, four or five days a week, three days is sort of the top amount I will train weights. Usually it's two now. So I'll do maybe three days for two months and I'll do, you know, two days for a few months. So I kind of oscillate between those two. And then when I come back to three, I feel so invigorated and fresh. If I'm going really heavy three days a week, after three months, I kind of feel like I'm burning out. So oscillating for me is really, really fun. Now, I want to show you guys some of the guys in my inner circle. These guys are awesome. They've had amazing transformation. So let's jump into it. So Koshal, how long have you been in the inner circle for? Uh, since April, 2023. Sick. And so how have you transformed your physique? I mean, I struggled doing it by myself for like three years. Never really like felt like I got cut. I mean, I was 173 in April and I cut down to 155 by uh, beginning of August. 18 pounds of fat. Yeah. Yeah, I finally got the six pack. I thought I couldn't get it. I thought it was my jeans. I thought I was, I'm 44. I had all these excuses. I literally just had to follow the program. Just follow it as is. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. I had to get dialed in. But I mean, this, I needed this to help me get dialed in because like questions pop up and you can like throw yourself off. So having access to you like was a game changer. And what's been the biggest thing in the group? I mean, just the like-minded people. So it's hard to make good guy friends, even in a place like New York City. It's hard to meet guys that are like leveling up and the weekly calls, like it's always like a mindset shift. Um, I got back into power of now, which I was like really into before and I kind of like forgot it. So it's, it's not just, it's not just fitness. It's like mindset, meditation, like manifestation. 
And I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just going to be fitness. So it's been a game changer. Hell yeah.